everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Play Pixies. Today I have a collection video for you of my strawberry shortcake collection. This is the retro collection that I've been saving since I was little. Mom, my mom saved it all. A few things I have added if I found them thrifting, but for the most part this is my collection from when I was young. So this one is one I actually had thrifted. And it is the kind of picnic table snail conveyance, I guess. When you get to where you're going, you can flip it over and you have a picnic table. I don't know what else it came with. Again, this one I did find thrifting. Here's a bike that I had back in the day. And it was for strawberry shortcake to ride and custard would ride in the back. So that is number two that I have. This one, the buckle is still here. It's broken off on this side, you can see. And there's another one I have. So one was mine and one I found thrifting. I think this one was mine because it's the one that's bent. It's hard to explain to a little person not to put any weight on these. So I could probably warm up the plastic and bend it back. So that's the strawberry shortcake bikes. This was mine as a bag. I think it was for the minis. So I'm not sure if I have any minis left, but I will. If I find a mini, I'll put them in there. I always wanted the strawberry shortcake house, but I didn't get it. But I have recently picked up some items from the house to share. So this one is like a little stove or oven. It doesn't stand very well. I'm not sure if it latched onto the house at some point. It's from 1980. You can see the doors do open, one for the oven, and there's the stove top, so that's super cute. It does better if it's leaning up against something. And here's a little strawberry shortcake chair from the house, here's a little sink from the house. These are all super retro. They do open. I don't like the sound it makes when it does open. really old piece, about 40 years old. Not too bad. There's one of those bucket chairs. I have these cute little strawberries. I forget what they're for. There's two like that. A strawberry shortcake. So this is how the dolls would come in a box like this. This one you can see was $8.88. I bought this one on eBay a while back. This is Lime Chiffon. She does say she's lime scented and she comes with a pet. Here's the side of the box. Removable outfit. She comes with her special comb. And her awesome party hat. And her bird. Hopefully we'll find her bird as we go through this box. But I just wanted to show you the retro packaging that it came in. By Kenner. They were a big toy company in the 80s. They also made all the Star Wars stuff too. Just her out. So all the boxes came with this little B, which was a berry point, and you could collect berry points and mail them in. I never did. I think I have my berry points somewhere, but the company would send you something if you collected berry points. So she's from 1981. Lime Chiffon with Parfait Parrot. I like that I have one box. So here she is. She's got curly hair in the front. Her little crazy birthday cake hat. You can see all the detail that went into these. They're just absolutely adorable. So here is a blueberry muffin. I think her ribbon is missing from her hat. She had little pigtails. She has her shoes. As you can see, I took very good care of my toys. Here is Lemon Meringue. She was mine as well. She's in really good shape. I used to take these on road trips with my friend Tara. And we would play in the back seat of her VW van. This girl was mine as well. This is Raspberry Tart. And she is so cute. Probably give her face a little scrub. She's done well. She's looking pretty good for 40. Here is my strawberry shortcake, my vintage strawberry shortcake. 
She's also looking pretty good. This girl is mine as well. This one is Orange Blossom. And you can see how pretty she is. And she's in great shape. Here's one of the booklets that came with them. And it has all their names and their pets. I have this big strawberry too. Here's that carrying case I was telling you about. It has a little strawberry snack and it has some storage inside and it looks like a big giant strawberry. I did find this one thrifting. It is from, I think it's from the first wave, American Greetings Corporation 1980. So that is that big storage container I showed you in the little booklet. There's the berry bike. I didn't get any of these. Looked at them many times. Wished for them many times. You can't have everything. These are the miniatures. I have some of those to show you. This is like the little train with the spider. Other little miniatures. A little Play-Doh set. And bracelets and charms. Here's my berry points. This is why the boxes didn't survive. They asked us to cut them up and collect berry points. And you could win charms, I think. You could send them in. So if you had 10 berries, I almost had 10 berries, I could have got a charm bracelet. So that's what that looks like. And then it's in French on the other side. You see how diligent I was about keeping them? So this little one used to be my favorite. This is apricot. So she's not a full size doll. She's kind of like a baby. She smells so good. I can still smell her in my mouth. This is another one of the babies. This is Butter Cookie. She's in like a little sleeper. It's Butter Cookie. This little one is Apple Blossom. She's another one of the little babies. I've lost her sock, but she's otherwise complete. This one is Angel Cake. And she had the little bows in her hair. She didn't have a hat. And she, she's missing her shoes, but I might find them somewhere in this box of goodies. I'm going to sit her down. So of the nine you can see right now, those are the ones that I had growing up. And then anything else that I'm bringing out now are things that I've picked up recently, ordered off eBay, or I have found them thrifting. I also had the purple pie man of Porcupine Peak as well. So he is the bad guy of the story. So I had him as well. He used to smell like grapes. My brother would play with me only if he could be the purple pie man. I believe he came with one of these spoons. So he was a chef. I picked up this Huckleberry Pie pretty recently. He is an original. He doesn't have his shoes, but that's okay. From this original picture, I have them all except number nine, Cherry Cuddler with Gooseberry. And of course we have Purple Pie Man. I never had sour grapes. Now I'm going to see if I can find the pets to go with them. So my apple dumpling came with this turtle, tea time turtle. The turtle in the picture is different. Here is Souffle, he's a skunk, and he came with Angel Cake. Lime Chiffon over here came with Parfait Parrot. The little, little Butter Cookie came with Jelly Bear. Orange Blossom came with Marmalade, her butterfly. Raspberry tart came with rhubarb, the monkey. So that's her monkey. Her in there. Apricot came with hop -a -lot. Right there. And purple pie man came with a berry bird. Where lemon's frog is missing. Huckleberry pie's pet is missing. He's a pop cake. Custard is missing with strawberry shark cake. This one whole one is missing. And blueberry muffin. She might have been the first one I ever got. So she's missing cheesecake. Little bear guy. Okay. I forgot to mention they all came with these little combs, so I have 
lots of those cones. Let's see how many I have. So I do have a good fistful of cones that go with them. So I'm going to show you I picked up Lem and Ada and they come with their little bottles and they come with sugar woofer. They're only slightly different. They came out, these ones came out in 1979. So that's when that, if you're having an international party kind of cartoon came up. And this one I can't remember her name either but apparently she's very rare. It's her little owl pet. I'll have to search it and put it down below what her name is. But I think she was really hard to find. I found this one thrifting actually. When I looked her up I couldn't believe the price. This is the strawberry who is kind of doing like a little Mexican dance and she comes with a little burrow. And there's her burrow right there. Anyway, she's from one of the international friends. She's the one from China. And I'm not sure who this one's from. It kind of looks like Scotland or something. A little goose. And this is the poodle that came with the girl from France. I don't have any of the dolls, but I have, if I see these in a bag mixed up in the thrift store, I know what they are, so I pick them up. On the second page of the booklet here, you can see that they had different outfits you could buy. Berry wear doll outfits. So I do have some of those I'll show you. This is like a little nightgown, the slippers. That's still in the package. This one right here, this berry dress. That was one of mine. So I had that from ages ago, it's like a little sundress. Let's see this one right here. She's wearing little red kind of knickerbockers. So I have that one as well. Like that, they're really cute. And this little leafy headband went with a little knickerbocker outfit. I have this one down here that Lime Chiffon's wearing. And it's new in the package as well. I think I got these off eBay. But they're super cute. I found angel cake shoes. I remember them because they didn't have buckles. There we go. And these are the minis that I had. Looks like I might have colored on that one. It's a little lemon. And I had an apple blossom. And I had a strawberry shortcake. Apple blossom sledding. And an apple blossom pulling some wagon full of apples. So those are the only minis that I had. And next in this one is her sock. This is apricot sock, but I think I've lost that other sock. I don't think she came with shoes, just these little cute little socks. Because she's just a baby. So that is my strawberry shortcake collection. Again, it's spanned many years, but for the most part, these are all my original dolls from when I was little. Just a few exceptions. When I was out thrifting, I found some, and I bought a few off eBay. These are just two dolls that I always had with my strawberry shortcakes. This cute little clown, which I have no idea where he's from, but they were kept with my strawberry shortcakes all the time. And this little kind of baker girl was always kept with my strawberry shortcakes as well. So I don't actually know what brand they are. This girl's tag still attached. But they played with me as well, so I wanted to give them their moment in the spotlight as well. So I played with these guys as well with my strawberry shortcakes because they're exactly the right size. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to play on. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.